Hello everybody and welcome back. We are continuing to explore the more common HTML tags. Last time we talked about lists and we had all these dog lists and a color list. And you can see over here how you can nest those lists inside of each other. Today we are talking about divs and spans. The div tag, div, is short for divider and it is one of the most common tags used. I, you may even go as far to say the most common tag used. Um, but really, it doesn't do anything until you get into CSS. So I mean, I'm going to show it to you because it's very important. Once we get into CSS, you're really going to use the heck out of it. But right now, it's not really going to look like that much. What it is, it is basically a block level styling element that allows you to wrap things inside of it and then do things to that. So I might have a div and say this is a div and save it. And over here, it's going to act just like a PDAG, basically. So if I inspect it, Command Shift C or Control Shift C, if you're on a Windows machine, you see that it's there. It's a block level element goes all the way across, but it looks the exact same as a P tag. So if I come down here and put this is a P and refresh, oops, I hit Command R on the wrong window and refresh, it's the same. It looks the same. So it really doesn't do anything. It doesn't look all that special right now, but I promise once we get into CSS, it's going to be very, very important. Divs are, are amazing and they're wonderful. Spans are pretty much the same, except they're not block level elements. So for example, if I wanted to style just is, kind of like what, what we did up here with the strong and the em, where it, it styled it but did not knock it out of that paragraph, span does the same thing. I could put span around is, save and refresh, and again, you're not going to see anything. It's not going to look any different. But if I inspect it, you can see that there is that span right there. And you'll notice that when I hover over it, it's not block level. It's just that one word. It's not block level. So if I change it, let's move this to the end there. Refresh, inspect, you can see that now we've got that right there nested inside of this div. So that's, that's really all they are. They're ways of marking text or elements or images or anything really in, in marking them in order to style them on the back end with CSS. So it doesn't look all that special right now, but it will once we get into CSS. And that's it for now.